Hey everybody, hi, this is Coaster, Coach of the Tea Fox, with another video for everybody today. And our video we have for you this afternoon is how to get ready for a con. How to pack your things like fursuits, uh, clothing, everything you will definitely need when you're attending a convention. And we'll go ahead and get started with that right now. So you're going to a convention, possibly your very first convention, and you possibly got a fursuit commission, or you've made one yourself. So the question may arise is, how do you pack for a convention? Like, not exactly just what to bring, but how to pack it, and in different scenarios, uh, what to put it in. Uh, there are many different things on the market that you uh, that one could use for packing their belongings, such as fursuits and clothing, and anything else that you may happen to take uh, home from a convention. Things like arts and swag. And if you are planning on fursuiting at a convention, the important thing is, is making sure that your fursuit is packed, travels, and arrives at the convention, and goes home with you in as good a condition as the day that you received it. Of course, the very first thing that you will need if you are traveling to a convention, uh, say by car, as long as it's not airplane, this step will pertain to if you are driving to a convention or traveling to fur meets in those kind of circumstances, be it through a car. Thing here is a tote, of course. You can get these at Walmarts or at Lowe's or other home improvement kind of stores and such. This one has a nice big lid, so you can put your favorite stickers on it. Favorite, favorite stickers. And a few of my own as well. So the biggest thing you want to make sure of when picking your tote is that it's deep enough and that it has wheels because this will save your back and your arms and if anyone else is pulling it for you, save your friendship possibly. So first thing you would need to do if you're packing, let's say, a fursuit, um, this would be a partial. Fursuits, pretty much the same idea, I will show you. When you're starting with your uh, putting your fursuit feet parts in, if you happen to have feet paws, and if you have these feet paws, they should be the very first thing to go in your box. The very first thing, and they will be facing downward. So put those down like so, just like that. Uh, Big necks, and you just put them like side by side. Side by side is important because if the bottoms of the feet paws happen to have things like shoes, you don't want those getting on top of any parts that may be sensitive to things like stains or anything else like that. And of course, that is important because white shows up everything, so any kind of speck of dirt will show. And you don't want that when you just got a nice fur suit that possibly cost hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. Now this next part is kind of up for debate. You could choose to do this next part if you wish or not. I'm doing this part because of the kind of color it is. It's not completely white, although it does have a little bit of white on the underside. This can actually sit quite nicely, quite nicely, over the very tops of the fursuit paws. So you put that in there next. It's like just like stacking a cake. You just start with the base layer and then you build up from there. The next step is your hand paws. Hand paws can be placed directly on top of the tail, or in some other cases, sometimes people put them in the fursuit head. In the fursuit head, like this. You just take your fursuit with these, uh, just like this, and you do that, opening it up the neck flat, like so, and people will. Uh, the students will take your nice, very nice puppy paws and stick us in the neck piece like so. I would recommend only doing this if they are clean, because you do not want to have dirty hand paws inside of your fursuit head. And all that empty space inside has now been filled up with your hand paws. Saving space and leaving you room for possibly other things if you like. Possibly things like uh, badges of your soda, like this one here. This one is Magic, the Snow Saver, and that's who I just popped in the box here, nice and neat, like so. That, um, that can go in with your fursuit stuff, or if you like, you can put it in a separate baggie by itself, 
possibly with your clothing, we will discuss that part a little bit later. Things like, you may need like fans because it can get really hot in a fursuit. Aw, battery's dead. Aw. Um. Other important things to consider bringing along too are things like Under Armour. This will keep you cool and dry in the blistering heat of the summer and even in the winter because it gets hot even in the winter time. More Under Armour. Under Armour long sleeve shirt. Very comfortable. Also does the same wonderful thing of wicking away your uh, moisture, keeping you cool and dry. This next part is an absolute must. Your fursuit spray. Fursuit spray will keep your fursuit head fresh, clean, and sanitized after suiting, and is a good idea to uh, clean your head after after every heavy suiting event. Uh, if you're wearing your head for just a few minutes, or even less than an hour, a light spritz inside would do the trick. But if you're doing a full-blown con event or a really hyped up long furby, you want to do a pretty decent thorough cleaning and that discussion could be for another video. So we'll put this in the box. Perfect. And also, one of the last two things that you're going to need for sure with your fursuit in the bin is you're going to need your belt, or you're not going to be able to wear your tail. So belt is super important. Make sure it's comfortable, doesn't cut into you. Uh, also make sure it's not a super old belt because it could rip and uh, ruin the idea of you wearing your tail. And then of course, this. This is a slicker brush, perfect for grooming fursuits. You just take your piece. You can actually do this before you put it in your suitcase, in your uh, tote, and you brush with the bristles going like so. Because they have little hooks and you want to go brush tip forward, brush tip forward all the time when you're brushing. And by doing this, you're actually going to help your uh, you actually want to help your fursuit look nicer when you take it out of the box, so there isn't as much prepping to do once you're ready to start suiting. And lastly, as well, don't forget to bring your favorite things that you like to fursuit with, such as uh, glow sticks. You will definitely need lots of these. Lots of glow sticks. And then, of course, the last few things that can really come in handy are a spare balaclava, just in case your balaclava is compromised for whatever reason. And then the emergency sewing kit, because there could always be something that arises where a seam could break or really just about anything can happen at a convention. So always be prepared and bring your sewing kit. Full miniature uh, sewing. And once you are sure that you have absolutely everything for your first suit part right here in the, your tote, everything is in the tote that you need, then you can secure the lid. And securing the lid is a pretty easy system. Make sure that none of your fursuit parts are sticking out over the edge because you do not want to bend the fur because that is just uh, going to put creases and you'll have to brush that part out later. And then once you get the box all closed up, you do that by securing these nice little tabs here. Let me show you. That is open and then you click it and go same with the other side. It's open and then you go. And to make it even more fantastic, it has a nice little carrier handle, which is excellent. I love this thing. And then this is ready for your fursuit event. And of course, uh, if you need to, I would recommend uh, putting this, uh, if you have a big enough trunk, wonderful. If you don't, the back seat works great. Um, you can even stack some things on top or even a few extra things inside. Um, you could fit, technically you could fit uh, two partials in here or an entire fursuit. So yeah, there's this part right here for you. Hopefully, hopefully this is super helpful and uh, helping people figure out how to pack for a road trip to a convention. Um, the next thing I want to show you is if you're flying by airplane, things can be a little different. However, we are out of time for today, so that will be for an upcoming video. So I just uh, want to say thank you very much everyone for watching. I just hope everyone has a wonderful day and a very happy holiday. I will see everyone in the next video. The whole thing. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. So then this is Coast of the T-Fox. Bye!